I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that this is a, a situation where we want to use our plane of fog. How did I do that before? Enter, that's right. I would like to catch this guy here. Yeah. mean out of range you're out of line well on the bright side that'll work because he he's gonna get stuck there and the, the individual cries themselves are not that big of a deal he's gonna continuously resist that though that sucks <clears throat> I see. Well, it would have probably been prudent then to have not done that, but uh, there you go. So I don't know if this guy's going to be a pain in the ass to deal with as far as hitting him. We can't go? There, yeah. Just a guard. That amuses me. Hit the wizard! Okay. Well, I don't care if he casts buff spells on the cries, they suck, so... Good for you? Hmm. Just have to kind of keep you out of the way, unfortunately, Flail Fist. It's, uh... way of it. There you go. He might have resisted that. I didn't see in the display or not, but couldn't really tell for sure. That's nice. That's what we like. Slugger to the rescue. Damn it. Alright, we might need to think about healing him. Kind of an interesting battle here, although the... There's not a whole lot of... Oh, balls. I'll just wait. Okay. Ow! Asshole. It's just this one guy left. I should hover over him and see if I can get info. I can't, apparently, though. Why did I do that? He doesn't need to be over there. It looks like lethal countered. That was kind of cool. Hmm. 
There we go. Okay. A little tricky, but... Yeah, I have a feeling that would be magical. This junk here. Gauntlets. Ooh, lots of money, too. Gee whiz. Hey, alright! Maybe I'll hit something now. Well, that's good. That's also good! Well, that was worth it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um... To rest until there. Can't have any more healing. <laughs> this place is actually pretty tough. It's not that the individual enemies are that tough, but uh, it, it, it's just a lot of shit to go through. Apparently. Come on. It's just this guy left. There we go. Not too bad. you could give a little bit more input to your um, NPC companions because this formation that they're in right now is very annoying. They're basically blocking in uh, Slugger and Effington, who is the most important of all, let's be honest. And it, it, it's uh, kind of difficult, but now we're okay. A lot of grunting. Don't really know if I care for that. <laughs> it would be particularly nice if you could just straight up control your NPC colleagues. Um, although I realize that that's kind of contrary to the, the nature of what they are. They're not your actual party, but not about not. Uh, let's just continue on here. So there's a bunch of caves here. It is a veritable cave story. My god, there are a lot of cries. <laughs> oh boy, this is wearing a little bit thin, so what I might do... Oh, I didn't look at the, the weapons that we looted. Poop. Um... So I might just make a break for the exit here, because I... Obviously, I mean, I could take out that dragon, theoretically, but... I'm not too wrapped up in that idea. It would be nice, but... We're not going to be able to do that for some time, I don't think. I'm gonna heal Variax, because he's in need of it. Well, didn't work out that great, but it's okay. And a single point of damage. Well done. Oh my. Tapped him with his staff. Right on the forehead. It is nice... I mean, I, I'm bitching about my NPCs. It, it makes the game go a lot slower when they're wandering around not doing anything useful. But um, they're, they're nice uh, cannon fodder. They're nice to um, have around to just die for you. And it's, it's very, very nice. Very nice to have them available for that purpose. Ow. Yeah. 
Speaking of cannon fodder, I just kind of sent lethal headlong into, or flail fist, excuse me, uh, straight into the arms of awaiting cries. Aha! Uh -huh. We would really be screwed without Slugger. It's it's just it's not even reasonable. <laughs> Does a insane amount of damage. Oh god, just guard. The only trouble with getting out of here is I don't remember how to get out. <laughs> don't know where the exit is. Excellent. Uh, share it. Done. And then we're gonna look at your inventory. So funky. Staff of Fireballs. Two to seven. It, the damage is the same. It just has a different spell on it. Um. Wow. Holy poop. Those gauntlets. Writ of Entrance. Oh, that's the thing to get us into the castle. That's not that exciting. Oh, we could use this. I don't know. Oh, we have a potion of healing. Good lord. <laughs> I need to look at this more often. Um, do, do, do. Who takes most of our damage? It seems like Flail Fist has really been... Taking quite a lot of... Oh, but he's got magical gloves already. I give him to Slugger, because he doesn't have... Oh, he's got all those magical doodads there, but I think that he could probably use these. He can't use them. Disregard. Neither can you. You can. Um, you are a leading contender for that, so... Ah, but so could you. And I'm guessing no. Okay, well that settles that. Okay, let's go back to the inventory, listen to the funky beats. Right on. Okay. Okay, let's, uh... Yeah, this, this cavern has kind of bogged us down. That might be partly why I didn't end up playing this too much. Um, simply because it's uh, slow going. I mean, the cries are really easy to kill. It's just... I uh, just have to wait. It's kind of, it is always gratifying when you play a game like this to have your uh, wizard-type characters get melee kills. Um, God, I don't even think I'm going to be able to get you in position in time to do anything important. I might get through this without taking any damage. That would be a hoot. Perhaps even a hooty and a... Oh, hey, hooty and the blowfish. Uh, what am I talking about? I keep going in here, like, compulsively. It's not like I need to do this. It's just free experience, I guess, but... <sighs> See, this is this is annoying right here. Effington should be over here. Very X should be over here. And if I withdraw Very X... What? Apparently I can't. If I withdrew him in that situation, I would have probably been attacked by the enemy. So, mildly annoying.
costs a lot of movement points to swap, though. It's because, see, Effington can only move one spot, basically, there because of that. Bitch, bitch, bitch. <laughs> Not that big of a deal. Should be able to deal with this pretty soon, though. Pretty quickly, right? I could make more liberal use of my spells here. But I don't think we'll need to. There we go. Oh, there's one more left. Hoping that would kill him. Oh boy. Just get it over with. My god. We definitely did get bogged down here. So that's probably why I ended up kind of subconsciously saying, I don't want to play it anymore. Probably should also, uh some of Variax's gear off of him, because he's very slow. Thank God! He's got too much... too many notes. Um... Mm, you can have his staff of balls. There you go. Excellent! Why did I do that? Actually, I'm again, I'm just doing this compulsively. I should have Variax cast some spells just to help to um, bring this to a thrilling conclusion. I would like to get out of these caves now. There's probably stuff that I missed, but um, ultimately I don't know if I care at this point. <laughs> One more left. We have gotten some levels out of this, though, so it wasn't totally a, a waste of our time by any means. Okay, there's another cave here. Oh, there's another one over there. Okay. Beautimus. Beautimus Maximus. Oh, God. <laughs> Ran into a brick wall of leprechaun -y evil. If I had an Irish friend named Connie, I would call her leprechaun -y. If I had a friend named Connie who had leprosy, I would call her Leprechaun. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> Let's make it stop. <laughs> Oh, God. There you go. Thank you for doing my job for me. Okay. Oh, there's more caves. Fucking. Oh, okay, I bet the next one, though. What do you know? See, there again. Barry X is right front and center. That just is ridiculous to me, but... Oh, because he swapped. God. So that's another mechanic that baffles me. Yeah. Or at least doesn't make a whole lot of sense, let's be fair. I'm not easily baffled. 
My mom says I'm smart. There we go. Excellent. Wait, no, there's one more left. No. Where is he? Oh, he's down there. Um. That's a ray. God damn it. Well. Son of a bitch. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, that's wondrous news. That's a magic resistance out of it, too. Oh. Why am I doing this? It's compulsive. Like, I, I get, get to the screen and I'm like, oh, I gotta go push this button now. Oh, that was helpful. What we might want to consider doing is actually going uh, back to uh, town to sell our shit. Because we have a lot of shit to sell. That's how economics works, right? Okay. Some of the different ground types take up more um, more movement points. Um, even though they look like they're just plain old ground, they, they take some uh, extra effort to traverse. Um, so if it's just plain ground like this here, I don't think it'll take any points, nor the, the grass, but anything that looks like it's got a muffin or... Uh, an oil slick on it or whatever. <laughs> that all uh, costs extra movement points, I think. Or a stalagmite. It was actually Influx who um, helped me remind or remember uh, how to tell a stalactite from a stalagmite. And that is that a stalagmite might get to the ceiling one day and a stalactite has to hang on tight to hang on to the Does that qualify me for some kind of educational grant? Oh. Also, other important lessons include um, it takes more effort to move over oily ground. Oh, for the hell of it. Okay, so that's, I think, the last of those caves. Tier Lord, uh, I want to get the fuck out of here. Actually, we should see game, that said. No! Hmm. Little pond there, little, little lakey-wakey, lakey-breaky-lakey. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> Alright, well, we made it through the Cry's Caverns. Um... I think this is a great time to take a break that will hopefully not be an entire three months of duration, but we've thoroughly explored that area. I'm glad that I did that. Um, obviously there's some stuff that we missed, but it's all stuff that we really can't do anything with. So maybe if our party levels up, uh, we'll take a look at it. But I think what we might do, we'll explore around here a little bit um, in the ensuing episodes. I'm obviously just doing that now. Um, Oh. Oh, splendid. So we've got some saber-toothed assholes here that we have to deal with. Um, but we know how to attend to them, don't we? Can't you... what? It was weird how it did that. Um, so I'll deal with this little issue first. Ooh, they're hungry. See again, Effington is right there. That's totally annoying. God, who was that? Oh boy. 
Um, can I do another swap? Okay, well this is a uh, this is a tricky fight. Awesome. Guard. Yeah, Vidalian is having a hard time of it, it would seem. I think the fog is gone. Right? Okay. Damn it! I didn't want to move that way either. There you go. That's how that's done. I think we lost a goblin. That's not a huge deal. He's just so brave. He's still alive somehow. That's amazing. Okay, uh, a lot of victory points for that, but no levels. Fantastic. Well, that's a good spot to end the, uh, the, the, it's not an episode because this is going to be multiple episodes. I've been playing for an hour and 20 minutes, but I'm glad to have made a lot of progress on this. I'm glad to have gotten out of the goddamn caverns, above all, and I'm glad that everybody is alive and well after fighting some saber-toothed tigers in a cave where a river is. That's basically exactly what happened. It's not embellished with any kind of lyrical prose. I'm just recounting facts to you, the viewer, um, because that's what you do at the end of an episode, as far as I'm concerned. So, with that said, this has been Epic Controller Playing Realms. I'll catch you guys later.